five killed during Rob Jatra in Bogura. Kota movement illogical, says Prime Minister. Anti Kota movement continue, highways blocked. Smoggy situation created over new curriculum. Those were the headlines. This is ATN News. Good evening, viewers. I'm Shazan Hassan with English Bulletin. Six people have been killed from electrocution during Rath Jatra, the traditional chariot festival of the Hindu community in Bogura. At least 20 other people were hurt. The mishap occurred at around 5.15 p.m. at Shehujgari Amtoli intersection area of Bogura city. It was learned during starting of Roth Jatra, the Roth came into contact of a live electrical wire. The doctors declared six people dead when the critically injured were rushed to Shohid Zia Rahman Medical College Hospital of Bogura. The death toll is likely to go up. There is no logical reasoning of anti-Kota movement spoiling education. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina made the remark at an event at Gonobahon marking the 22nd founding anniversary of Jugo Mohira League on Sunday. She said women and people from the remote parts had been deprived through cancellation of quota system. She said Bongobundu had introduced separate quota system for women in government jobs so that they can be self-reliant. Now women are getting deprived in government jobs due to cancellation of quota. The Prime Minister also said it is important to inquire those who launched anti quota movement in the past how many of them have passed the BCS exam. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has vowed to bring down poverty rate lesser than that of US even if it is 1% lesser. She made the remark in her address to President Guard Regiment's 49th founding anniversary program in Dhaka Cantonment on Sunday morning. The Prime Minister said Bangladesh is not scared about the threat of anyone. None will be able to take the country backward anymore. She said thousands of Patriot members of the armed forces were killed after the assassination of Bongo Bundu. However, President Guard Regiment has now turned into a disciplined force along with the armed forces through training and modernization. The Prime Minister also lauded the role of members of PGR saying they are discharging their duty with patriotism and honesty. Earlier, the Prime Minister handed over a cheque of financial assistance to the members of the martyred PGR men. anti quota movement is continuing in different universities of the country as well as streets of the capital. The students engaged in anti quota movement blocked important points of the capital, including Shaba. The students continued their movement for the seventh day on Sunday, demanding reinstatement of the circular issued in 2018 that cancelled quota in government jobs. As part of the movement, students besieged Dhaka or Aricha, Dhakustia Kulna, Dhaka Borishal and Potokali Kuakata highways. Students of Jahangir University blocked Dhaka Aricha Highway for two hours from 11 a.m. Vehicular movement got snapped at the time. The common people had to suffer for the roadblock. Students of Kushtia Islamic University besieged Kushtia Kulna Highway on the same demand. Students of Borishal University also blocked Dhaka Borishal and Potokali Kuakata Road. Meanwhile, academic activities of public university has remained suspended due to movement of teachers against Protoy scheme. Quota issue is now under the jurisdiction of the apex court of the country, so commenting on it until the final verdict will be tantamount to contempt of court. Education Minister Mohibul Hasan Choudhury made the remark at an event on Sunday. Meritorious students of the members of Reporters' Unity were given reception at the event, saying a vested quarter is trying to create instability over quota system. He said 
it will have to be seen whether there is a deep-rooted conspiracy. He said many quarters are making propaganda inside and outside the country over quota issue. The government is deeply monitoring the anti-quota movement situation. Awami League General Secretary and Minister for Road Transport and Bridges, Obadul Kader, made the remark at a briefing at the Secretariat on Sunday. He said quota system had been there and the High Court has given verdict in its favour. Government has nothing to do with that. Chilo. The usual concept of the exams in the country was making the students sitting isolated so that none can see answer sheet of others. Conversation among the examinees during the exams was also prohibited. However, going beyond that concept, around 1 crore students are attending the half-yearly evaluation exams with the same question paper in more than 34,000 educational institutions across the country for the first time in country's history. However, both the students and their guardians are still in a shadowy situation about the new system. There is an allegation that expenditure has also gone up due to introduction of such new system. People engaged in research on education said quality teachers are also needed along with training to cash in the benefit of standard education. Now, a short break. We'll be back soon with... Flood situation of North Bengal worsen further. Uruguay moved to semis of Copa, beating Brazil. You're watching ATN News. This is English Bulletin. Flood situation of North Bengal has worsened further. Water of Brahmaputra, Dharla and Dudkuma is flowing above danger level. 1,50,000 people have become marooned. Flood water has also washed away livestock. Severe crisis of cattle fodder is prevailing as grasslands have gone underwater. Water of River Jumuna has slightly decreased at Kasipur Puzilla, point of Shirajkonj, however, still flowing above danger level. 50,000 people in 34 Upazilas of the district are passing their days in hardship. 50 educational institutions and 500 hectares of cropland have gone underwater. Although flood situation has improved in Silet, the situation at the Upazila level has remained unchanged. Now news from around the world. Dead and wounded Palestinians swamp Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in central Gaza after an Israeli attack on the Nusayrat refugee camp killed 16 people and injured 75 others. The attack came as Israel marks nine months since Hamas's October 7 attacks. Egypt is set to host delegations from Israel and the United States to discuss outstanding issues in a possible ceasefire agreement. Cairo's Al Qahira TV reported that Hamas has dropped a key demand for an upfront commitment from Israel for a complete end to the war. It is also learned Hamas has accepted U.S. proposal for talks on hostage release. Five Palestinian journalists were killed in Israeli attacks on Saturday. Gaza's government media office said bringing the number of media workers killed since October 7 to at least 158. At least 38,098 Palestinians have been killed and 87,705 wounded in Israel's war on Gaza since October 7. France is voting in one of the most significant elections in years, with the far right hoping for a historic victory but with political stalemate, the more likely result. This is the first time the anti-immigration national rally, RN, of Marie Le Pen 
and Jordan Bardella has had a realistic chance of running the government and taking outright control of the National Assembly. However, after the RN's first round victory in snap parliamentary elections last Sunday, hundreds of rival candidates dropped out to give others a better chance of defeating the far right. Voting began in mainland France at 8 a.m. local time and the first exit polls will be released 12 hours later. Whatever the result, it is difficult to see President Emmanuel Macron coming out of this well. Viewers, we'll take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching English Bulletin. Now, sports news. Uruguay edged Brazil 4-2 in a penalty shootout on Saturday after going down to 10 men in a bruising 0-0 draw at the Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas to march into the semi-finals of the Copa America where they will face Colombia. Colombia ensured semi-final berth thrashing Panama in another quarter-final battle. With Vinicius Jr. suspended for Brazil and watching on from the stands, Dorival Jr.'s side struggled to create opportunities despite having a man advantage late in the second half when Uruguay's Nahita Nandes was sent off. In the ensuing shootout, Sergio Roche saved Brazil's first penalty from Eder Militao while his teammate Douglas Luiz hit the post to give Uruguay the upper hand. Although keeper Alison Becker denied Jose Maria Jimenez, Gabriel Martinelli scored to keep Brazil alive. Manuel Ugarte buried the decisive spot kick as Uruguay continue their quest for a record 16th Copa crown. It was a very tense match against a very tough opponent, suffering in the last minute a man down. But we showed character despite our youth, Roche said. Before ending the bulletin, the top stories once again. Five killed during Roth Jatra in Bogura. Quota movement illogical, says Prime Minister. Anti quota movement continue, highways blocked. Smoggy situation created over new curriculum. Blood situation of North Bengal worsened further. And Uruguay moved to semis of Copa, beating Brazil. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us.